Hi Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your August reading. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your love and your support. We're going to be seeing what messages may come through for you guys. Get some insights, guidance, and overall see what's going on, what you can expect. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. Oh my god. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info's in the description box down below. Okay, Capricorn, you got some flyers. You got some cards attached attacking me uh we have your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn along with a time to give rather than take new moon in virgo a lot of earthly energy that you are embodying that you're dealing with okay tell me more what's going on for capricorn confidence is the key to your success and have faith in your dreams okay okay capricorn oh and nice your energy again at the bottom the end of a tough cycle approaches so full circle moment capricorn you might be dealing with a capricorn a virgo a leo or carry certain placements in those signs um but yeah so capricorn i don't know what you've been working on exactly but it's paying off the effort that you've been dedicating yourself to all of the work all of the consistency the determination you know it's truly paying off it's working out in your favor and i'm so proud of you and you should be proud of yourself you've given a lot to this to this thing to this person to this job to this and like this project like something you've been it could be about your health and wellness your fitness your diet your just some big goal here but it's time to give back to yourself it's time to you you've been exerting a lot of energy and i feel that you're in need of deep replenishment um and there's something you're giving energy to that's going to help you become more confident in yourself and your gifts and your abilities and your skills i mean you have triple new moon new moon new moon so you know it feels like you're entering a time of your life where there is a door that's opening up it's swinging wide open it's you're ready for this next step there's like new energy all up in your zone capricorn and this is relating to some sort of dream some sort of deep desire some sort of wish that you have and um it's saying to continue to have faith in your dreams because you are on this huge upswing um you're getting ready to launch into this new reality so that's amazing i love that for you um let's pull a couple oh my god look the butterfly at the bottom of the deck that's just funny because I was just looking at the half faith in your dreams and there are these little butterflies. And just as I grabbed the animal deck, my eyes were looking at the butterflies and then the butterflies literally at the bottom of this deck. So that's funny. Big transformation that you have been going through. A lot of personal changes, a lot of changes in your surroundings, your job for sure. Um, I feel like you're coming into more of a lighthearted, playful vibe. But let, let's see what the animal cards have to say about this. Show me clearly. What's going on for Capricorn during the second half of August 2024? What do my Capricorns need to know, look out for, or be aware of? We have the, literally the bear. A new start, a new cycle, a new beginning. Why? Well, Cosmic A. You've closed out one era, one cycle, one journey of your life. Congratulations. This is kind of similar vibes for Cancer because they had that kind of vibe coming out of like a new era, a new cycle, new new life, new beginning. You're kind of getting similar vibes. So maybe you got Cancer placements. Um let's so let's see that's too many well it's three i can take that okay dragon lamb and the stingray looks like you have a decision or a crossroad here but your intuition already knows what the best path is this is something that you have been preparing yourself for oh my god look the buffalo buffalo is in cancer's reading there's something about your determination coming through your strength your willpower and just like seeing things very clearly all right regardless of what others around you might be saying or thinking or you know how you might be feeling about them it's like you you just you're certain about a choice you've made your mind up you've completely just like you're locked into this new path this new lane and um you're getting a lot of signs you're getting a lot of confirmation that this is the right choice this is the right path for you and um i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna shuffle and pull different cards just because i don't know i just feel like i feel like spirit has other things to say too besides that so okay you made some sort of choice and now this is the kickstart of your new life so tell me more um what's going on for capricorn the elk more earth like a lot of earth coming through bears earth elk is earth what else do we have for capricorn um the hyena and the deer interesting because i am kind of picking up on like a counterpart situation elk and the deer elk is the masculine deer is the feminine so there could be some sort of shift or 
you know, with the hyena and the deer, there is a, this is just like a specific scenario, specific message for a group of people, not going to be for everybody, okay? We're going to get to the tarot after this. But for some, there is like a feminine energy who is feeling fed up and annoyed and frustrated. Um, could be frustrated at this elk or a masculine here. I'm just saying, I'm seeing that there is somebody here, there's like a group, or there's at least two people. I think this is a, a couple of some sort, whether you're together or not anymore. It feels here that there's like a feminine who is carrying hurt feelings and some, you know, she'll make little jokes about it here and there. But I think deep down this, what? Well, I was going to say elk. <laughs> this is the deer. I feel like um, the deer could be transmuting whatever these resentments or built up feelings or this could just be representing your feminine energy because we all carry masculine feminine energies but this deer it could be like transmuting her shadow um using it as like fuel or power or like motivation here with a b at the bottom so you know you might be using something as like motivation to pull yourself out of this funk or darkness or challenging period of your life this may be connected to somebody who has stirred these feelings from within you. Okay. Um, what else am I seeing here? See that there's a new start when it comes to your job, a career, or, you know, a business, perhaps. Stepping into some sort of position of authority or where you're going to be taking care of a lot of, like, responsibilities. And things could be... A little bit challenging at first but you're gonna get into the swing of it it's gonna get easier when the bear comes out it talks about like the first few steps are normally the hardest like the hardest part of showing up um consistency is really going to be the key it's really going to be like the make or break so as long as you can have patience for yourself and patience for the situation um it's going to get better it's going to get a lot smoother for you okay because the bear is coming out of hibernation in this deck the bear is all about awakening after a long slumber after a long break from something um starting again and so you gotta get going <laughs> you gotta get moving you gotta take action which i see you're doing but consistency is the key here uh, but you gotta make sure you have the energy to be consistent so prioritizing your rest prioritizing you know sleep and um you know so deer and the hyena again like feels like you see that there's a lot of potential on this new path. You see that you can really grow. You can really expand. You can learn a lot. But that hyena, it is giving a bit of this irritated, frustrated, kind of annoyed, or even a little bit judgy, whether this is you judging yourself too harshly, being your own worst critic, or just judging others, or others maybe putting that judgment onto you, but not letting that define you, okay? Especially if there's other people that are kind of like getting in your way or slowing you down a little bit that's gonna be better it's gonna it's gonna improve a lot of earth energy y'all so remember to stay grounded <laughs> um let's get into the tarot let's see what else is going on for you for capricorn show me clearly what my capricorns need to know look out for be aware of during this time show me clearly what's happening for capricorn in the second half of august me clearly what's happening you might be you know and even the hyena can talk about taking a break from something maybe um sobriety you know taking a break from maybe like drinking or just certain habits that maybe aren't serving your highest good empress coming out this is a big fucking stack so we're not gonna take it but um i'm seeing that like you're in this huge period of like growth and expansion and that's not easy it can be a little bit uncomfortable me clearly what's going on we have these seven of wands as your first card out we also have the hermit at the bottom so this is kind of saying where you are need to prioritize your peace and you need some silence honestly i think you need some space this is about you connecting to your core values what are your values what are your core beliefs we have the hermit and the high priestess this is a very deep introspective spiritual time for you capricorn and you need to take that serious okay it's really important that you're not letting people use you as a doormat or, you know, take advantage of your kindness or just like people overstepping. Show me more. What's going on for Capricorn? We have the world. Yeah, well, okay, that's good. That cycle's coming to an end. You're quite determined to not repeat the past. Yeah, death even at the bottom. Damn right. 
damn right Scorpio energy so there's a significant change taking place over these next couple of weeks where you are really making peace with this situation and you're embracing this change you're embracing this new start you're you're dancing into this new phase you need to move your body i keep getting that i didn't mention that with the bear but the bear even talks about like as like things that you can do to help you as you move into this new chapter of your life is like move your body like physically like get into some sort of like fitness routine or find something that you know is physical that is fun like it doesn't have to be going to the gym lifting weights it could be like swimming it could be dance it could be you know stretching it go for a walk like there's so many different everybody like there's something for everyone <laughs> there's literally something for everyone you've got to find it and then i feel like you're needing to like move your body and transmute this energy through your physical anyways you do you <laughs> but that's just the way she's just like dancing i kind of feel like dancing could be really good dancing can be very healing i don't care if you feel awkward doing it put on your favorite music and just like dance man <laughs> um maybe you need to take dance lessons not need to but maybe that's like something that would be good for you look we have the her look hermit and the high priestess anyways those cards coming out again i think that's really interesting so spirit really is saying that there is a lot of personal growth and development a lot that you have been working on yourself in private in silence just like it's kind of quiet you know you're quietening your mind your life around you seems quite peaceful and um if it isn't right now it's going to <laughs> it's going to this just feels like calm feels very calm within you as well so again if you're feeling like this inner turmoil that's going to be cleared over these next couple weeks especially virgo season virgo season is going to be really positive for you um you really rock with that earth energy as you're an earth sign yourself so i think you're going to really vibe in in virgo season with ace of swords at the bottom just seeing things clearly seeing things clearly being able to communicate your thoughts easier um you know just streamline i really feel like things are streamlining it's easy it's breezy and you see things clearly intuition is on point as well you know you could be receiving a lot of downloads lots of insights in your dreams there's this inner knowledge here that you're unlocking some sort of new door some sort of new path ace of swords four of pentacles i see you could be holding back from sharing your knowledge or sharing your truth or sharing what you know sharing some sort of information i kind of see you holding it back or you know just like this high priest so she's holding this book of secrets i kind of feel like this is you capricorn where you know you're not an open book at least not during this time you are kind of keeping your cards to yourself perhaps that's advice or suggested that you don't reveal everything all at once four pentacles and the ten of swords oh the chariot you're moving on from some sort of painful ending i do see you're still kind of holding on to it at this moment or recently you've been holding on to this ten of swords big fat betrayal or just some sort of heavy loss that you found difficult to accept but as you're moving forwards yeah look look the chariot the devil see it's like you've been having a hard time moving away from something it's like there's still been this attachment there's still been some sort of attachment no matter where you go you're constantly reminded of this thing this situation this person it's just like everywhere it's just like really just you can't run from whatever this is and so you've decided high priestess hermit the world it's time to go inwards and deal with it rather than trying to avoid or run away so that's great like that takes a lot of strength it takes a lot of strength and so as you are working through this there boom ten of swords to ace of swords huge clarity huge epiphany seeing things for what it really is and being okay with it yeah like literally high priestess hermit and the ace of swords you're you're okay with the truth now you're accepting it and you're embracing it and it's actually setting you free <laughs> may the truth set you free maybe this is something you've known for a really long time or you've known for your entire life you know it's just like there's some sort of enlightenment that you're gaining and it is freeing okay what else you got for capricorn deck is ready what other, okay three of wands trying to flip out i do think it was me so i don't think i'm gonna take it but the three of wands it is about like forward thinking forward planning and also it's just like your ship's coming in moving in the right direction and progress is being made okay keep going 
getting more clear of like what you want for your future what you want for your life and where you're going okay what else is going on for capricorn okay this ooh, tower look at major arcana major arcana major arcana major arcana like this has been a theme lately like even last week and now this week i'm like yo what's happening with the collective tower big old shake up um scorpio vibes see so again there's like this huge shift taking place and i again i feel like it stems from within but then it affects your surroundings and your physical world there's just something for cups at the bottom knight of pentacles and the queen of swords you know what if you've been in this low stale stagnant not much is happening or you've been feeling kind of stuck or you know it's been a slow freaking process i feel here the tower is here to shake shit up and bring in quick quick changes Let, let's see let's keep going so if things have been kind of slow it's gonna get a lot busier or you know if you've been feeling kind of stuck unable to move forwards this tower is here to help set you free it might kind of whatever however this tower is which we're going to clarify in a minute um it's kind of a surprise it definitely kind of takes you by surprise okay tell me more what's going on for capricorn august 2024 king of wands now it's time to take action it's time to go it's time to get moving eight of pentacles which you are willing oh look the three wands is sticking out here hey it's eight of pentacles so now it's time to put in the work put in the action and dedicate yourself consistency is key here um but it's showing here that you have the confidence to achieve whatever this is eight of pentacles nine of pentacles hell yeah empress oh my gosh great that's a, just fabulous so it's showing like literally the energy you're putting into this it's working in your favor like it really truly is so don't doubt yourself for even a moment your effort is really truly paying off okay let's get some more details like for example what is this tower we're going to just jump right straight into this tower and clarify what this is i'm going to use the gold foil i want the tower for capricorn what is this big old shake up what's this change Kind of the tower not a pentacles is at the bottom that's so funny <laughs> kind of the tower for capricorn hmm. nine of cups so you're getting what you want this is like a huge surprise that lands on your lap your wish comes when you least expect it kind of the herm oh not the hermit why did i say the hermit maybe this card is meant for the hermit the magician well you definitely manifested this this was what was like literally the tower this tower moment most likely was when you were gonna just keep it to yourself laying low going inwards here you called this in you manifested this you attracted this you you manifested this change like the devil was at the bottom so there are things around you that were controlling you keeping you stuck or keeping you tied or keeping you in this limited belief that maybe you couldn't have what you wanted or maybe you page of wands let's see and the fool yeah there's something you keeping you there's something keeping you from like taking a chance or getting this passion project getting this movement getting this on the road on the roll on the road travel for something i don't know what the hell what the fuck am i saying there's this inspiration there is this feeling there's this spark that's been lit but for some reason it's like the devil is like you were telling yourself you couldn't or there were like these conditions that were placed or there was like this restriction or just like hmm, there's just something that was holding you back so this tower is what's coming on in to shake it up and free you from those chains right y'all can't see it that well but the chains that were once holding you back keeping you stuck so you're not stuck anymore capricorn you're free to go <laughs> all right you've been released from this energetic prison you served your time okay so with tower king of swords king of wands you're showing up in heavy king energy six of wands wow and the four swords at the bottom which you just you heal in like again this this a lot of this is taking place internally you've made peace with something you've accept accepted something 
you've surrendered, you've let go, you've detached. It's showing here that you're moving in this path that leads to a lot of victory, a lot of success and recognition, a lot of big wins coming in Capricorn. Again, like your hard work is paying off by you having faith in yourself, in your dreams, in your abilities, by you just showing up each every day, you know, it matters, it counts, and there's huge rewards that come with this. There's huge success you're coming into. You've manifested this new life or this huge wish come true. And people are acknowledging that people are seeing it people are seeing you achieve all these things this could be something that is very much out in the open or very like public or you know it's like public knowledge or something or i don't know maybe you're posting about it but people see you people recognize you people are mind blown like you're blowing people's minds i don't know if people were necessarily expecting this from you so you might be surprising some it's like you could be just you you, you were pop, you coming out and popping out surprising people you were working in silence doing something all on your own moving in the dark and then boom you just like came out and surprised everybody and yourself a little bit too four swords the sun and the five of pentacles look at this and the five of cups oh my god capricorn what were you going through some pretty emotional stuff for sorry um five of pentacles and cups yeah heavy loss could have been losing out on a job could have been losing out on some sort of connection relationship whatever the case is you lost out on some things there were some things that maybe fell out of your life or things that maybe you didn't plan could have been a real difficult time emotionally but so the sun and the four of swords you've healed from it or you're in the process of healing from it you're getting stronger you're feeling more optimistic you're feeling freer you're feeling lighter you made peace with this you accept it and you're embracing this change and you just can't wait to get going so i don't know where you're going capricorn but it seems pretty good it seems pretty promising um it's funny because i don't really feel the need to clarify any of these cards let's look into the king of wands and then we'll see where we're at with time. I might pull you more. How the King of Wands for Capricorn? How the King of Wands for Capricorn? Oh, Six of Swords in the reverse. It just, it literally flipped itself in the reverse as it came out. So there could be some things from your past that are still, you know, still clearing up some loose ends. You may not be completely out of it just yet. Ten of Cups. Maybe this is family stuff, relationship stuff, um, lingering of Leo, Mercury retrograding in Leo. We got strength at the bottom. So perhaps, you know, as Mercury stations direct in like next, next somewhere, sometime next week. I don't have the, I think, is it the 20th, um, 28th? <laughs> I think it's the 28th, 27th or something like that. Mercury will be direct. Um... We'll have the post shadow for the next like week or two after that so it feels like you're clearing something up yeah strength ten of swords and death yeah it's on its, whatever this is capricorn it is on its way out it is on its way out you have to remain strong try to get out of your head as best as possible i know that can be difficult but so if you're worrying or stressing about this situation right now or it's just like it's fucking up your sleep Again, I like to see that death is here, which is showing that that will change your feelings, your thoughts about the entire situation. The way you view the situation is going to transform completely. Um, death and then the Ten of Swords. Like, this is like, this feels pretty concrete. Whatever this ending is, whatever this loss is, I don't know. I just, it feels pretty solid. It feels very concrete. Like, it's really just like closing the door once and for all and it does take again ten of swords and then the strength is like this is taking a lot of strength for you to overcome um yeah six of swords is a ten of cups there's something about your childhood being brought up here maybe this is some of the shadow work that you're dealing with or maybe this is about like a family member or someone that's very close someone you considered family tell me about this king of wands some of you could be returning back to an old home Kind of the king of wands anything there you go justice 
Well, some of you are determined to make things right or bring in some sort of justice or balance or kind of bring things back into alignment. So if you are returning to a, some of you could be taking action towards um, you making some sort of return, going back to something you left, but with this different approach to have a different outcome or at least bring some sort of fair, fair outcome, some sort of justice, something that will bring peace and everybody that's involved here because it seems like this could be a group situation everybody has respect and like they're still i'm still i'm hearing there's still love here or i still have love for you or still you know still care or still want the best for you or no hard feel like they're kind of getting this vibe as well there is anything that you're returning to from your past it's just to make things better than they were <laughs> okay so that's that's good that's good um six of pentacles hierophants two of swords you could be dealing with a taurus but um you know you have a choice coming up that kind of reminds me of the that's why i paused the, the animal cards that came out earlier it had the lamb and the stingray and i can't remember what else came out but it was like there's a choice or a crossroad that you may have coming up or you may be making this decision but your inner knowing is guiding you to make the right choice or like you'll know what the right decision is I'm kind of i'm seeing this here it's like there could be a big kind of a test to see how far you've come and are you going to like walk your talk or the lessons that you've learned can you apply that wisdom that knowledge that you gained everything that you went through from those past experiences have you reached the level in your journey where you can apply that knowledge and you know get ready for the next level aka this is what's preparing you so it's like depending on what you choose here will alter this next step or this next path um and so i mean it looks like you may have some sort of possibility of like a partnership or commitment i'm not really feeling romance from this but i do see like there could be some sort of agreement or contract being formed or some sort of like Hmm. i don't know there's like these conditions that are being made or it's just but it's like mutual or it seems respectful it seems like there's some sort of agreement being made like some sort of decision that you and someone else or a group of people are coming together and like they maybe there's something about contracts being brought up maybe if there's someone like that owes you money perhaps or you owe someone money that's about clearing that up huh okay i don't know i don't have much else to add is there anything else that you should know? Or should I just leave a reading here? Pretty chill reading. Nothing too crazy. Although a lot of significant, like, major arcana. Like, this seems like... spirit. Can we maybe clarify this fair? See what this new cycle is? And then I'm gonna let you go, Capricorn, okay? Let me just see. I'm gonna switch decks. Let me just try with this one. What? Why is the bear here? What's this new cycle? What's this new beginning for Capricorn? Why the bear... What's this new beginning for Capricorn? Tell the bear for Capricorn. That didn't come out. Okay. Tell the bear. Ace of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Tell the bear for Capricorn. Eight of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Well, this feels... And the Three of Cups. Oh, my God. Well, this is a very exciting new chapter, new beginning for you, Capricorn. So your life is about to get a whole lot sweeter. That's a fact. That is a freaking fact. And you're moving there quite quickly, quite fast. Um, it's very sudden. I definitely feel like by Virgo season, you're in a better place financially, emotionally, spiritually, like the bear ace of wands ace of pentacles i see your money is good i see like there's a passion project i see like you're motivated you're driven you have energy you feel excited again you feel very connected to this new start you feel like revamped like there's this whole renewal and you're embracing this you're excited i'm excited for you it just feels like things are coming together you're back on track um you're in this natural flow you know like i said with the bear earlier i was like it might get a it might be a little bit tricky at first but you're gonna get the hang of thing swing of things hang of things it's like almost like those words combined you're gonna get you're gonna swing back into your flow your rhythm um 
yeah whatever this new cycle is is something that you're really passionate about and yeah it just seems like it lights you up this might be also about traveling or moving or you have an exciting opportunity presenting itself to you and if you take this it's going to help you like flourish which is amazing three of cups at the bottom page of pentacles and the page of cups oh my god you got all these pages coming in pages offers so many different offers coming in i think like you have some some things about love romance you got some friendship stuff you got some personal goal stuff you got some career stuff like you got everything <laughs> you got everything big commitments what will you commit yourself to here hierophant in the moon well who knows but it's up to you whatever nourishes your soul your spirit that's what you need to choose whatever that is whatever feels good that's what you know it's meant for you okay so i don't know capricorn but it feels like you're heading towards a lot of great things um let me know how this might resonate so let me know uh what you're doing where you're going <laughs> what this new chapter might be about i would love to hear in the comments below um you know i was gonna say something else but it's gone <laughs> so i'll leave your reading here i appreciate you Private readings are available in the description box, and I will catch you in your next reading, which will be next week. We'll do your September readings, okay? So thank you so much, Capricorn. Have a blessed day. Bye!